From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Diamond miner De Beers, with a long legacy spanning more than 100 years of operating in South Africa, has opened a new diamond sales and sorting facility near Oratombo International Airport in Kempton Park. Donna Slater compiled the story. The new facility, called De Beers Sky Park Siteholder Sales South Africa, comprises two floors, including those for siteholder offices, hand and machine sorting areas, a training academy and a diamond cleaning plant. Rough diamond sorting that will take place at the premises will support investments in local diamond and polishing factories, which have employed 620 cutters and polishers since 2020. De Beers CEO Al Cook details the miners' decision to invest in the new facility. Today marks an important moment for De Beers in South Africa, where history gives way to the future and an idea becomes an investment. It is therefore my pleasure to welcome you to the opening of De Beers' new home for our South Africa site holder sales, one of the most advanced rough diamond sorting and sales operations in the entire world. In welcoming you, I would also like to say thank you to the De Beers team who have seamlessly and successfully transitioned our people and our cutting edge technology from Kimberley to Johannesburg to ensure that we can service our customers and South Africa's diamond industry as reliably as we always have done. We must ensure that more citizens derive more value from their precious natural resource. It also means we must ensure that more citizens have the opportunity to add more value to their precious natural resource. That is what this facility represents. It is filled with diamond experts, diamond technology, and diamonds, but it holds South Africa's diamond dream. With the inauguration of our operation here, we aim to work with the government and with wider industry to encourage the growth of a South African diamond business hub that stimulates development of the local sector, generating creativity and economic opportunity through sharing ideas and sharing expertise and bringing local skills to an international audience. We know from experience that this approach is effective and we've already started to make progress. Our new home at the National Center for Beneficiation creates an opportunity an opportunity to work even more closely with all the actors in the local industry, helping shape new opportunities through our collaborations. De Beers is also investing in its South African diamond mining and exploration activities, ensuring longer life of assets and a reliable future source of diamonds for the local and international markets. De Beers Executive Chairperson, Baron Peterson, speaks about the efforts being made in this regard. We believe that we need to consistently and predictable sell rough diamonds to our clients. And that is central to the efforts of facilitating sustainable beneficiation. It is for that reason that we are investing more than 35 billion rand in the development of an underground mine at Venetia and Limpopo. Now, the decision and the implementation way back in 2012 to invest the 35 billion, which means we had a long-term view of the sustainability of South Africa. And we demonstrate our commitment not by an announcement, but by actually putting the money in the hole in the ground. And for the past 11 years, consistently, Minister, we've been investing in the future of South Africa. It speaks to our belief that diamonds are forever. It speaks to our belief of the confidence in the environment in which we operate. It speaks to our belief that together we can make it work. Our uh, commitment to continue operations in South Africa is also underscored by our continued investment in exploration activities in South Africa, focusing on Limpopo Northwest and especially the Northern Cape Province. We are 
an annual investing around 24 million in this regard. But our exploration is not limited to land-based operations. We are also focusing our attention on marine diamond exploration on the west coast of South Africa. We are excited about the exploration program, not only because we are of the view that South Africa remains highly prospective for diamonds, but the promise of that investment, that it will bring jobs and our ability to continue investing in sustainable investments through our Building Forever program. Building Forever is our commitment to create long-term positive impact that will endure long beyond the discovery of the last diamond. It encompasses our four strategic pillars being leading ethical practices across the industry, partnering for thriving communities, protecting the natural world, and accelerating equal opportunities. Beneficiation sits squarely within the accelerating equal opportunity because for us as the BS, beneficiation is one of the strategic pillars we utilize to extend the benefit of the diamond mining to our host communities and producer partners. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter. Thank <laughs> you.